Shalom to all this week's parishes, parishes Ve'ira. We have the famous set of Psukim, the four Lashonos on Gula, the four Lashonos of expressions of redemption. They're brought in the Eli Pasig that says, Hashem tells us, O Seti Eschemi Tafaz, the Sivlos Mitzrayim. I'm going to take you out of the burdens of Egypt. Hitzalti Eschemi Abodas. I'm going to save you from all of the work and the slavery that you have in Egypt. Ga'alti Eschem Bezro and Etuyobesh Fatim Gedolim are going to redeem you with an outstretched arm and a strong arm from all of the trials and tribulations that were taking place in that exile in Egypt. The fourth expression, I'm going to take you as my nation, and I will be your God. And we're all familiar with the Medrash, where the Medrash writes in the beginning of this parasha, that those four expressions of Gehula, of redemption, became the source of Chazal's mitzvah of drinking the Arba Kosos on the night of the Seder, the four cups of wine that we drink on Aleel Pesach. But there's something very, very interesting and often overlooked when we examine the Psukim, that speak about the four expressions of Gula. The first three, Vhotsesi, Vitzalti, Vigaalti, are all found in one pasig. They're lumped together. The fourth expression of Gula, Vilakathi Eschem Lila Um, is a separate pasig, an entity unto itself. And what's interesting is that there's a follow up of pasig. Right after that, the Torah says, Vein Vesi Eschem and La Oritish and Asosia Sadila Seuso Sam, the Avram Yitzhak of the Yaakov. I'm going to bring you to the land of Israel. And that's not only. An additional Pasuk, it sounds like a fifth expression of redemption, the culmination of that redemption, but it's not listed in Chazal as one of the four expressions, bringing us to the land of Israel. So it's a very interesting phenomenon that we find over here. The first three of the expressions of Gehula all represent, of course, the physical Gehula from the slavery and the trials in the land of Egypt, in Mitzrayim. Hashem isn't going to take us out of the civil of Mitzrayim. We're not going to be burdened by them. We're going to be redeemed me'avodah sam from the work and the slavery they had in Egypt. And I'm going to be go'alti esfem b'zorinatu b'shvatim gedolim. I'm going to redeem you from there with that strong hand that's going to wreak havoc through the makos on the mitzrim, in mitzrayim, etc. Those are the first three expressions that are there. There's the, new, and the next passage that comes and tells us, v'lakafti esfem li li'on ve'yisi l'akem le'lukim. I'm going to take you as my nation to be your god. The Sforna notes for us on that passage, well, the Kathy Eschem Lila Am is a reference to Ma'amad Har Sinai, the receiving of the Torah at Har Sinai itself, becoming not just a people, but the Jewish people, our religion, our Torah, and the lifestyle that we, that we lead. And of course, we understand that without that additional dimension of the Torah itself, our religion, our Judaism, and our Jewish practice, the first three really lose their meaning, the redemption from slavery in Egypt, without that becoming the nation of Israel, the people of the Torah, the religious people that we are. We lose all mashmavut, we lose all meaning to that, to that expression of freedom. Interestingly enough, the halacha tells us that although a person is allowed to drink wine in the middle of the process of the four cups, between the third and fourth cup, one is not allowed to drink any additional wine. Shema Yishtak here, the Chazal tells us, maybe, maybe you'll get a little too drunk after you've eaten already and you're drinking more wine after your meal. So it's fascinating that between the three expressions of a physical redemption and that fourth stage of spiritual redemption, of the giving of the Torah, that's where Chazal say, we don't want you to get drunk in between. Don't get so excited just because you're free. We don't want you to lose focus. We don't lose your understanding of the goal and the purpose. Lakafti eschem lilaam, be my nation, through the Torah itself. That's really what I want. That don't get drunk and don't miss the point. But the fifth expression is also fascinating. To recognize that, yes, there were four expressions of Gehula. The Jewish people have become one and a full wits with the receiving of the Torah. But the culmination of all of that, it's not an expression of Gehula, but the ultimate purpose of that Gehula, of that redemption, is Vivesi Eschem and Laoras and Hashem says, I'm going to bring you to the land of Israel. And our existence in our Israel, and existence in our beloved homeland, is because we understand that if we're the people of the Torah, then we have our right to be here in the land of Israel, make it into the special place of Kedushat that it actually is. And it's so important that we remember nowadays that there's an incredibly exciting phenomena going on here. We in our communities of religious Zionists understand that for the first time in many, many, many years, possibly since the Koma Medina, we have a government which is really largely based on principles of tradition, much closer to the real authentic Jewish values. We believe, of course, the religious presence in the government is outstanding and phenomenal. 
on this particular in this particular venue. And we have to realize and appreciate there's something very special going on. That if we can retain our identity, remember who we are, why why we're here in Eretz Yisrael, what Hashem wants from us, and how to live here while we're in Israel, then of course we can really merit the upcoming redemption. Bizrat Hashem, with the building of the Beit Hamikdash and the full Shiva Tzion Bekarov Biyameidol.